Light microscopists utilize stains to increase the contrast and visibility of the specimen, as well as to learn more about the features of the specimen. There are three main categories of stains used by microbiologists. Simple stains, differential stains, and special stains. Simple stains are made of a single basic dye that interacts with the biological sample and stains it. After treatment with the dye, the sample is rinsed with water, leaving the stained sample. Simple dyes are used to determine size, shape, and arrangement of cells. Crystal violet is a purple stain that stains most bacteria uniformly. Safranin is a red dye that stains most bacteria pink or light red. Methylene blue is another basic dye that stains most bacteria a light blue color. Some of these dyes are also used in more complex staining techniques, such as differential stains. Most of the stains used in microbiology are differential stains. Differential stains use more than one type of dye and can be used to distinguish between different structures. The Gram stain is the most frequently used differential stain. It's used to distinguish between Gram-positive cells, which have a thick outer cell wall composed of peptidoglycan, and Gram-negative cells, which have a thin outer cell wall. The procedure of Gram staining involves seven steps, during which the samples are stained with crystal violet dye, treated with a mordant, rinsed, treated with a decolorizing agent, and counterstained with safranin. Gram-positive cells are stained a deep purple color from the crystal violet dye, but gram-negative cells are decolorized and then stained pink by the safranin. The acid fat stain is a useful differential stain because it only interacts strongly with a subset of bacteria in the genus Mycobacterium that have a waxy material in their cell walls, as well as the pathogenic strains of the genus Nocardia. The acid fast staining method involves several steps, during which the samples are stained with carbofusion while being heated over steam, cooled, decolorized with hydrochloric acid, and counterstained with a simple dye such as methylene blue. Some bacteria produce endospores. Endospores form inside the cytoplasm of the bacteria and are highly resistant to desiccation, heat, and radiation. Their cell walls are impenetrable to most chemicals. The endospore stain uses heat to drive the dye malachite green into the endospores. After heating with malachite green, the slide is rinsed with water to remove the dye. The slide is then counterstained with safranin. In the final sample, vegetative cells are pink and endospores appear green. The endospore stain is a useful tool in classifying bacteria. Special stains are stains that interact with special bacterial features or structures such as the flagella or capsules formed by certain bacteria. Negative stains stain the background, leaving cells colorless. These acidic dyes are repelled by the negative charges on the surfaces of cells. Examples of negative stains include eosin and nigrosin. Some bacteria use tiny structures called flagella for locomotion. 
Flagella are too small to be seen with a microscope, but they can be stained in a multi-step process involving the dyes pararosaniline and carbol fusion, and the mordant's tannic acid and potassium alum. The number and arrangement of flagella are important in the classification of bacteria.